Hello, I'm Terrell Platt with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by CI Hedging, LLC. Following the years-long liquidation of the beef cow inventory, cow slaughter continues to slow as record high calf prices and improved weather conditions reduce culling pressure. Beef cow slaughter has dropped substantially compared to 2023 year-to-date, with total slaughter down nearly 200,000 head through the end of May. Commercial beef cow slaughter has largely been in line with expectations, and the current pace is on track to finish down nearly 600,000 head on an annual basis. The expected decline would build upon the 450,000 head decline in commercial beef cow slaughter that occurred last year and would put the two-year total decline near a million head. Even so, the current forecast suggests that 2024 will remain a net culling year for the beef industry. The forecasted total for beef cow slaughter would leave the beef cow cull rate above 10%, suggesting another decline in the total beef cow inventory come January 1, 2025. Moreover, the limited number of replacement heifers kept in the fall of last year and the anticipated shift into La Nina weather phase through the balance of 2024 further suggests a decline in the U.S. beef herd. As a result, the 2024 and 2025 calf crops are expected to continue to reflect historically tight cow inventory numbers and lead to declines in fed slaughter that should linger into 2026 at least. Turning to this week's markets, trade was light to moderate in the north, mainly at 301 dressed, which is steady compared to last week. Trade was light in the south at 185 live, a dollar lower than last week. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.